hello my friends how are you all i'm back again with this very new video on how to use head mirror for examination in e and t so you know in one of the practical we get about we get asked about head mirror we asked how to use them and we have to demonstrate using them it's not necessary that we we have to uh, give certain findings after using it but we have to use it and just show them that how it is used in proper way so to make that easy for you i have brought this video and now let's get started so beginning with the head mirror so this is what a head mirror looks like okay and first of all i'll just explain you uh, theoretically then i will show you video also so here this is the headband then this is the hinge it helps to rotate the mirror and it helps to you know um, put it in proper position this is the mirror okay and it has a so headband means it arranges the so you have to arrange the headband according to your head size hinge it helps to adjust the mirror and rotate it and mirror it is a concave mirror okay so it what does a concave mirror? it converges the light okay so it converges the light and it has a focal length of 23 centimeter okay so that means that the mirror best focuses at a distance of 22 to 25 centimeters so if you keep a distance of 20 to 25 centimeter the mirror best focuses the light uh, from the source which is approximately 9 inch it has central hole of approximately 2 centimeter in diameter it reflects a light coming from the bull's eye lamp so these are the points that you should know so now the question can come like why is there a hole at the center so this is because the hole allows the examiner to see through both the eyes which provides a better depth of perception so that, so that the examiner can see both the eyes that is reason why hole is at the center and fiber optic headlight is a better body you can be asked like this is not a you know good alternative now more advanced head mirror has come so people uh, the teacher might ask you what do you uh, do we have any example of more advanced form of it which is used nowadays then you have to talk about fiber optic headlight better alternative to this instrument as we do not have to constantly maneuver and maintain the angle between the source and the reflecting source what happens here is that you have to adjust the light in the mirror okay properly so it it's kind of troublesome you have to do it manually everything for the bull's eye lamp okay so this is what a bull's eye lamp look like so it is the light source um, in the examination okay from here the reflected light is converged by the concave mirror and then wow we focus it okay so um, it is placed above and behind the patient soldier and it has got an electric bulb here okay which is uh, electric bulb and a biconvex lens here and uh, it changes the focus in the head mirror uh, and the bulb that we use here is 100 watt halogen bulbs we do not use led because it's very blinding you know it's very sharp so you cannot properly focus and look so that's why we just need a warm orange kind of light you have to make sure that if you, when you are doing for examination if there's too much light in the room just switch off some lights or pull off the curtains and just keep the moderate amount of light in the room not very much you don't need that so this is about about the bulb lamp so it's a stand here is that it is a cylindrical box it is going to so you should not torture or it's it's get heated because you are using a 100 watt halogen bulb so it can burn you okay you have to warn this about the, uh, with the patient also and from here there is a biconvex lens and then inside of it there is 100 watt halogen bulb okay so this is just a theoretical uh, explanation uh, of the instrument now you can watch the video where i have explained how to use it uh, i will not be explaining about the examination part i will be just explaining like how just to adjust the thing and do it in the practical because the only the thing that you have to do is just show how do you use it you don't have to make so here you can see that it's a bull lamp stand and there's a bull lamp bulb inside with a convex mirror and here it is the headlight it's band and it's concave mirror there is a hole inside of it and there's a hinge also so now i have turned on the headlight so from turn it turn, we can turn it on on the switch so remember not to toss the cylindrical box else your hand will burn like mine first you should always start by taking consent from the patient so here i'm taking consent from my friend so while you're taking consent you can switch off the bull's eye lamp or you can turn it on only and then arrange the position of patient the patient should be at one arm distance from you and the bull's lamp should also be in the equal distance from you as well 
class you can you have to make sure the bull's eye length is equal to the patient's shoulder level or his or her uh, level of ear and after managing the position so put on your headlamp and then try to focus the light at first at your palm and if you are able to focus it at your palm then focus it on the person's ear nose or mouth so i'm here focusing on her ear so just i'm trying to focus here you can see so you have to pull to see the inside of your ear you have to pull it upward backward and laterally so by in doing so i am trying to visualize her ear uh, so it, in this uh, video i'll be just talking about how to focus it i'll not be explaining about the examination of ear so after examining you can talk about like in ear examination you can talk about the external ear the medial ear the tympanic membrane the mastoid and and other uh, parts of the external ear examination so you can see me explaining little bit so please make sure that you examine both the ears you have shown just examining one ear but you have to examine both of them and also you have to keep your head mirror up okay i forgot to do that and then explain everything and i'm doing this so that it have it becomes a practice for you you can learn from others mistake so i'm just trying to show you uh, whatever i treat little bit unfiltered i'm also a student and i'm also practicing for my examination so this is how you uh, focus the light and you try to you know visualize the ear nose and throat so this is it if you liked it please like share and subscribe to my channel for more such content and thank you so much